Hello and welcome to episode 10 in this video series, the final episode in which we're covering a wide range of ways in which teachers and educators can help support students with online learning using tools, techniques and web-based tools to help maximise student engagement. In this last video, I'm going to be looking at something that a lot of teachers don't realise is possible. If you use Google Docs, whether by standalone or as part of Google Classroom, you'll probably already be aware that you can leave comments for students. You can highlight text or sections of their work and then leave comments in the comments section on the right hand side that they can then respond to and reply to and resolve if needed. And that's a really, really good positive teaching method. However, what I'm going to show you is something that I think will more um, will help to improve the student engagement with that because you can actually leave audio comments as well as the written comments. So you can record audio about it, which perhaps uh, will be uh, more interesting for the students. You can also leave video comments. So you can actually have a webcam and talk to them, maybe even demonstrate something as well if needed. Uh, so it makes the comments very much more personal. And if you find yourself in a situation where perhaps you're uh, writing out lots and, and you don't feel the students are going to read all those words, you can do an audio comment where they listen to you. And often the tone of voice that you use will make it more personal and perhaps more relevant to them as well. And I'm also going to show you a way in which you can have a full comment bank already there by the side of the document so that as you're going through it, comments that you might make regularly are right there for you to copy and paste and just slip straight in with one click. It's fantastic. Where is all this? Surprisingly, it's all in one add-on. So this does have to be done in Google Chrome. But if you're using Google Classroom and Google Doc, the chances are you're using Google Chrome already because of course it's the most stable browser for Google products. So if you're using Google Chrome, then head over to the web store. I'll give you the link to this. I'll put this link in the description, uh, the description below. And the add-on you're looking for is called eComments. Now, surprisingly, this only has uh, seven ratings, uh, although there are a lot of people using it. It's not as popular as I think it ought to be. And I hope that a lot of teachers start using this as a result of this video, because I think it's brilliant. Um, I've installed this into uh, Google Chrome already. And you can see at the top right here in my plugin section, um, I have the e-comments add-on working there. Let's see how this works. So I have a demonstration class here set up in Google Classroom. Although, as I say, it works just with Google Docs, doesn't have to be done through Classroom. I'm gonna click on this assignment that one of my students has turned in. Oh, look, it's the tech train. So I'm gonna click on their assignment and this opens up the Google Docs document. So, so far, all very familiar. And if you've used the commenting technique before, you'll know that you can select uh, some text like that, uh, click the little plus button there and write out your comment. Now, I know myself in the past, I've sometimes had another document separate on the screen next to this that includes um, popular comments that I might perhaps use several times, and then I'll copy and paste those um, over. But this takes that to a whole new level. Let me show you. I have the document open up here. I'm going to click on the add-on at the top right there, click on e-comments, um, drops down that uh, little menu, and I'm simply going to switch that to on. And as soon as I do, I get this panel on the right-hand side. Now, this doesn't replace the normal comments. You've still got the comment ability there. But what this allows you to do is Brilliant, three or four different things here that I'll show you. First of all, you don't have to keep on clicking the button at the top. You do have a hide button here, so you can simply snap that open and close. You may decide to always have the add-on active and just open and close that there. Um, what you've got here is different sections. Now you can get rid of these if you don't use them, it's not a problem. You can add your own categories, but these are built-in comments. As I say, you can edit these as much as you want, no problem at all. But let's say that uh, I don't really like this title here. I think they could probably done more with that title. Uh, I can select that and on the right-hand side here, hover over that um, 
that option there. You see that there's a prompt there for me to edit it if I want to, so I can right click and edit that um, comment. But if I just simply click on it, it will add that comment immediately. And you'll see that that's added as a normal text comment. So it's nothing different. From the student's point of view, they don't see anything different. They see the same comment system, and you can see that there's that whole load of text there with examples and everything for them to be able to read. And these comments are really good. So I think the built-in comments are effective. Personally, I'd probably not use quite a lot of these because they're more to do with English language. Um, so if for the IT uh, course, I'd probably wanna have a whole load of IT or computer science comments in there. Uh, but that is fantastic and you can add your own in as well. But that's not all of it. That's fantastic, but it's not the initial reason I got this add-on. What I also really like, if I just, let's say, select this first paragraph here, is these options here for recording an audio comment and also a video comment. Now, if I click on the audio comment, now little panels appeared on my other monitor. I'll just drag that across, there we are. So you can see that I've now got the ability to start recording. So if I record my comment here, it's recording that comment as an audio file, and whenever I'm ready, I can click Stop Recording. I can preview that if I want to, um, and I can also then save um, that to the document or save it to your e-comments menu on the right-hand side. So it may be that you have a comment, an audio comment you want to use repeatedly. Uh, so I can save that to the comments menu or save it to the document slide. So it's just saving that now. There we go. So if I just hide that now, you can see that from the student's point of view, they've got the text-based comments here and an audio-based comment. They can click on that and hear you talking to them, which I think is uh, fantastic. And I think students are more likely to click on the audio comment and listen to it than to sit there and really read and take in the whole of a text-based comment. It's gonna vary from one student to another. We've all got those students who will avidly read every single word you write in comments, but there are also those that perhaps skip through quite quickly and just see, oh, you know, has he said anything fantastic about it? No, and we'll just leave it then. Um, and those that maybe don't read it at all. Audio comments, I think they just improve the chance of student engagement. Um, and I think the comment as well will be more personal for them and it also saves you a lot of time because rather than sitting there typing on the keyboard, and if you're not the best typer in the world, then um, you might find that it's easier to click on the record, record an audio comment, sit back, a uh, cup of tea in one hand, and there you are. Um, you can do the whole thing one-handed, it's perfect. You've also got the option, as I say, to um, leave a video comment. Now, I can't demonstrate this because I'm using my webcam already, but it's just the same. So I can click on the video, and obviously these comments here, you can put them into different categories as well. If I click on video, Again, I get a little pop-up here. Uh, it's just simply saying that it's not available at the moment because the camera is already being used. Uh, but you'd have the same pop-up window as you did more or less for the audio. You can simply record you talking to the student through your webcam. Um, and then if you're happy with that, you can save it either to the document or again to your comments panel on the right-hand side. And again, I mean, what student isn't gonna click on a video of you talking to them directly? There's almost a sort of, that there's both the intrigue from the student's point of view. They wanna see what you actually uh, are saying to camera, to them personally. Uh, but it's also like a moral feeling. They feel, you know, that you've actually recorded a video especially for them um, and that, that's really good. And of course, if you're looking directly at the webcam, you're looking directly at them. You're looking them in the eye right now. And so they feel compelled to pay more attention to you. Well, one hopes anyway. So I think this is a really, really good add-on. Um, I've used this for a little while now and I've had no problems with it at all. Uh, so I strongly recommend this. So I'll put the link to this in the uh, video description below, uh, but I think that's, um, that's gonna really, really help, especially at the moment, getting students to engage with the work that they're doing remotely. So there we are. Um, if you found that video useful, uh, then do please click the thumbs up button, like the video, that does genuinely make a difference. If you know other teachers, or in fact anyone, any other educator who might find this useful, who'd be interested in this, please share this video with them so they have the link and also they can see exactly what it does and how it works and how to use that. So share the video wherever you think it would be helpful. 
If you have any comments or questions or suggestions, do please leave them in the uh, comments section below. I do read all comments and I reply to them all as soon as I possibly can. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, do click the subscribe button because I have more ideas uh, and tutorials planned for the next few weeks. So if you click the subscribe button and you click the little notification bell, you will know when those videos go live. So thank you very much indeed for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this series. I've enjoyed making it and I do hope that it's genuinely useful for many of you in getting through the current 2020 coronavirus crisis. As I say, if you're looking at this video in the future, then, um, well, I'm most envious. Uh, let's just hope the toilet roll situation has improved over the next few years. So thank you very much indeed for watching. I'll see you in a future video. Bye for now.